Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much to me when you girls subscribe to my channel. If you're not new, hey girl, welcome back. Welcome back to a new video. I am back. I got my camera fixed and I'm ready to keep a vlogging. Today I decided to bring you girls a video on my Sunday meal prep. Things that I like to have ready in the fridge to make sure that I have a good productive week and I have snacks available, fuel my body and keep me in line with my goals. And then also kind of just like talking to you girls about potty training, everything I've been doing to potty train Malachi and things that have been working for us. I hope you girls enjoy this vlog. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Happy Sunday guys! Welcome back to a new video. It's Sunday, April 23rd, 9.50 in the morning. And it is a beautiful rainy Sunday. Today on this Sunday girl, what I have planned for the day, let me tell you real quick. First off, I'm about to make breakfast. I'm gonna make a delicious Sunday breakfast. I'm craving like a full Mexican breakfast, like frijoles, huevo. I don't know yet what I want to make, pero I want todo. That's how I feel. And I have my cardigan on. I'm nice and cozy because it's kind of chilly. Yeah, girl, I'm so excited to have my camera back and chit chat with you girls. I've missed you. The camera charging all night. I was like, on Sunday morning, I'm going to wake up and film for my girls. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me for my day and what I'm going to be doing today. My main goal today is meal prep, cleaning out the fridge, and just prepping for the week, making sure that we have everything ready for the week for tomorrow to start a good day. And I'm waiting on a Sam's order, so as soon as my Sam's groceries get here, the meal prep is going to be on. It's going to be on. You know, I love to order from Sam's to meal prep. I feel like they just have everything for a better price in bulk, better deal for your money with sam's and i really really like that i feel like it's affordable and all anybody can like order a meal prep so i'll show you guys everything i got once my order gets here pero por ahorita let's make some breakfast let's make some coffee you girl i need it all okay i need it all and i also need to clean the fridge out from like old food oh my god i totally forgot i have carnitas that i can make tacos de carnita for breakfast i don't know what to make all those containers from the fridge that are just like had old leftovers that I know we're not gonna eat and look cleaning out the fridge Sunday just started it's literally we just woke up it just started but I really needed to do that I really needed to clean out the fridge because <clears throat> when I'm gonna meal prep and get new groceries for the week I like to just make sure I clean out all the old stuff that's going to be in the way. Let's wash these and have nice clean dishes and ready for the meals that I'm going to cook. So I'm going to clean these in a little bit after breakfast because I really want to start on breakfast because I'm hungry. I'm just going to go ask Philip and Malachi what they want to eat. Um, they're playing in the bed. So. Daddy, hi! <gasps> Okay. What? We, everything's been decided what we're gonna have for breakfast and Philip is into the carnita tacos. So basically on Friday I bought carnitas or not carnitas, it was just like pork ribs, but honestly it's just like any type of pork to me is a carnita. 
and I just made that so it's leftover so today I'm gonna repurpose our leftovers and make carnita tacos so I'm gonna fry up the carnitas again and like put seasonings like cilantro cebolla but to go with that I actually want to meal prep already an avocado sauce so let me go ahead and get that ready coconut creamer coffee creamer if you haven't seen how i make this i'll link it here in a video that way you can watch ever since then i have been off coffee creamers and just been making my own either with coconut milk or almond milk but the recipe basically is the same just love knowing what's in my coffee creamer instead of buying it mm. and, it's bomb. and i love to add that little white chocolate sauce on top it just gives it a little Pretty some chicken legs that I was defrosting this anoche where I was gonna cook them yesterday but we ended up not eating dinner so like it just we had a big lunch so we didn't eat dinner and then I already meal prepped all of our wellness shots here always leave the extra in here it's the first thing I already started with I always like to have our wellness shots every week on the map because they're so good for you and i make sure for us to have them every single day go ahead and make this salsa so this salsa you guys that i'm about to make i make it different ways basically it's like cilantro ranch that i like to make it's a cilantro avocado ranch sauce uh, you can omit the ranch if you don't like ranch flavor but i personally love ranch and i already have my ranch here that i made the other day and i'm just gonna go ahead and use it because I'm actually out of ranch seasoning and that's coming in my um, Sam's order because I love ranch and how I make my homemade ranch I've made it a few times on my channel but in case you don't know I like to just mix ranch seasoning with this non-fat plain Greek yogurt it makes it a high protein ranch add water and it's literally the perfect ranch so I'm gonna use this to make my avocado salsa this morning and this is so good on literally everything it's high protein it's delicious it keeps a long time in the fridge and it's so so good let me show you how i make it cilantro as much or as little as you want you don't have to add cilantro but i really love cilantro so i'm gonna add and i'm gonna add a lot Add a limon, this is gonna keep it fresh, also keep it from going bad. So we're gonna add that. And I'm gonna add jalapenos. Again, you can add as much or as little. I'm gonna add one and a half of jalapeno, and I'm gonna see how the spice is. If I want more, I'll add more. And now I'm gonna add in my avocado. And this is half of a large avocado that I have here. And I'm gonna add that in. To add extra garlic powder, just cause I like the way, I love garlic, so I love the way that makes it taste. So I'm gonna add that in. And then I'm also gonna add some chicken bouillon. This is gonna be the secret ingredient to making it taste bomb. And then I'm just gonna put this in the blender. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I will add tomatillos in here just to give it more volume. But honestly, this is like my go-to recipe. Greek yogurt, ranch dressing, cilantro, jalapeno, avocado, chicken bouillon, blended in there with some lime and it literally tastes so good with chips, on tacos, on ceviche, on literally everything. This is my go-to salsa. I love having this in my fridge for the week. So blend. Mm, 
this avocado salsa is so fire trust me in the description box below i will post the, re the recipe exactly on how i make it that way if you're more of like oh my god i need the ingredients like and everything written down check in the description box below it'll be there girl i got you it's so good and then now i can wash out my jar that i keep my ranch and look another traste that i need to clean but it's okay now that i have my salsa ready i can start cooking breakfast and since everything is already kind of like cooked already like the carne the frijoles like this breakfast is gonna come quick so i'm gonna show you guys let's start out the kitchen cleaning out the fridge using up leftovers that we have and i like to do this with steak chicken any type of meat that we have like left over sometimes for these like sunday tacos um and they're so good i promise they're bomb next thing that i'm gonna do is fry up tortillas and some avocado oil that way we have like crunchy tortillas i feel like that makes these like breakfast tacos even better so i'm gonna add some oil of course you're gonna need some tortillas start um getting the tostadas ready my eggs are done and also the meat is done for the tacos so good i'm telling you girls this is the best way to use your leftover meat let's get our tacos ready i like my pink plate show you girls everything you need to make these oh and also let's get our avocado salsa that i just made guys my sam's order just got here and i started seasoning my chicken that i'm gonna grill later this is just like my mexican seasoning i always do this with you guys so i will link a video on when i go in more in depth on how i do that seasoning for that chicken but i wanted to show you guys the other stuff i bought from sam's i ended up getting this big old thing of chuck roast it's two of them and they're huge so i have this is how i like to divide it for my family i like to put it in ziploc bags that way like throughout the week we tend to eat a lot of chicken and shrimp for myself but like once a week i like to have some type of red meat because you know how you get tired of chicken sometimes so that's when these are going to come in handy this will last us for like two weeks because i'll get to use one one week and then the other one the next week so i'm going to put this in freezer bag divided my chicken thighs that I ordered 
so it saves me about five chicken thighs per bag and they're kind of big so i feel like that's perfect for my family um i'm gonna season one with you guys and the other i'm gonna throw it in the freezer along with the chuck roast and i also ordered these green beans i'm gonna half it half for today and then the other half i'm gonna throw it in the freezer that way my veggies don't go bad i like to eat fresh veggies but i like to put some in the freezer that way they don't go bad and i have to throw them away so i'm gonna show you how i like to do that right now as well so starting with this bag i'm gonna show you guys what i like to do with it So I actually need to get something from the freezer so I'm gonna go ahead and like or outside I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this in the freezer that way it doesn't just sit there meat for the rest of the week and a little bit for the other week I feel like right now with all the groceries being so expensive girl like this is a must for me and my family I'm gonna throw this in the freezer too you guys know my favorite protein is shrimp so this lasts me like two weeks my house started looking no, no. crazy but i'd rather do this all in the morning guys and then have more time to do other stuff so i'm gonna season the asian chicken that i want to do now so i have the chicken ready and i bought a new seasoning let me show you This one marinade. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do for that. Soy sauce. I'm gonna need this sesame oil. So I'm about to start grilling my chicken. I'm going to start with what we're going to have tonight, which is the Asian chicken. I'm going to grill that first. That way I can make sure to start on dinner and that it's nice and done. He's <laughs> burning something over here. He's burning all of our Amazon boxes. He bought this barrel to burn stuff and it comes in so handy. really windy today but i am so excited because my ivy is already growing in look how pretty she's already growing in this ivy is my favorite just climbs all over the fence and every year i look forward to her arrival <gasps> oh, there's fire <laughs> Um, but let's 
start grooming me. I put my chicken in foil after a little while that way it doesn't burn and I'm gonna start hey and now I'm gonna cook the rest of my chicken and veggies This is what I'm using. We bought this on Amazon, a little stool. I will show you guys better pictures like here of it. And I was so afraid to go out and about with Malachi after we started doing this. I'm like, oh my God, is he gonna like know to use the big boy potty like at the store, at Target or whatever. But we actually went to Target the other day with my mom on Friday and he did so good, girl. Let's do my everyday mommy makeup. Well, I also drink my protein smoothie, try to get in my protein for the day. Mm. This will be my snack after breakfast, and that will bring me up to like 65 grams of protein already for the day. Let's go ahead and do my makeup while we talk potty training. We talk Malachi going to school. Like, we're going to talk about all that. Like, everyday makeup, what I like to do is just like super simple because I'm going to be here at the house. So I don't need like a lot of makeup or anything like that. So I'm just going to be using this. Pacifica Glow Baby Serum. This is like a hydrating booster serum and it just has vitamin C. It's supposed to make you nice and glowy. And I've been liking the way my skin looks when I use this. So, you guys, when it comes to Mount Lakai potty training, honestly, this was my third time around to try. I tried in December and it didn't go good. I was very stressed out and I felt like I was the problem. <laughs> because I would get very agitated and frustrated and I feel like I would lose my patience. I'm also gonna go in with my um, Pacifica Vegan Collagen. So glowy and I love the way it smells and it does not make me oily. Like I'm obsessed with this SPF for my everyday wear. It's just so hydrating and it smells so good. 
Um, for my toddler, he was scared. Malachi was so scared to use the restroom. Like, he was crying and he wouldn't tell me when he would potty. Like, the first day, he did such a good job. I'm gonna go in with the Dirty Works um, eye cream. I got this at Marshall's. I have hella accidents. And, like, he just wouldn't tell me when he would, like, use the restroom. And I feel like at the same time, I was, I tried doing a timer method every 15 minutes. Like, Oh, come on, let's go pee, let's go pee, let's go pee. And, like, he just wouldn't do it. Wait, he'd be like, I don't have to. And then as soon as we'd leave and, like, I'd stop paying attention, he would use the restroom. So I feel like that method honestly did not work. And it was just stressing me out because I was trying to do other stuff like film, edit, uh, cook dinner, wash clothes. Like, trying to take care of my house when you needed to be, like, literally on them 24-7 while they are first trying. Second time I tried again, I would just like put him on the toilet potty and I would just like, come on, like you can go potty, like you don't need to be scared. Like me trying to like talk him through everything and like sometimes like he'd be okay and then other times he just would start crying and crying and crying and then that would frustrate me and I would get frustrated and then it's like I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to deal with it anymore, like I just put on a diaper. Or then if we were like going out on the weekend, like running errands, I would end up frustrated and like we'd just be like, oh, we gotta run errands, like we can't stop. Like let's just put on a diaper. He'd hold it in, that was the other thing. He'd be like, I'll just wait till I have a diaper or I want a diaper and like you'd just give in. I kept giving in and then I was like, you know what? Malika's gonna be four years old, school starts soon and we really want to get him into pre-K so I was like, I'm just gonna have to do it. Um, and I really love these concealers. This is the Bright On Concealer from Benefit. It's like, it looks just like the Boing Concealer, the cakeless one, but this one has like a little bit of shimmer in it and I love it. My favorite one is the color Leech. It's like a super light pink, like a salmon pink. And it's perfect for like really dark under eye circles and just like anything dark right here. Like I love the way it looks. Like it gives you that like soft pink under eye that is in right now without it being super pink, which I really like. And then I let it sit on there for a few minutes. I stopped. I was like, I'm not going to do this to myself, stress myself out. He's just not ready. I'm not ready. Like, whatever. You know, because everybody's like, oh, you know when they're ready. Like, I didn't know when Malachi was ready, honestly. But then I was like, you know what? School's about to start soon. Like, he needs to have practice if I want him to be in school. Like, he's going to have to have months of practice using the potty. So he can, you know, be good. And I can feel confident that my son knows what he's doing at school. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to do it one day and just put myself, that's all I'm going to do for that week and nothing else. Like, no content, no filming. It needs to be edited, like, no work, like absolutely nothing and like screw laundry screw like literally that was my mentality for a week waited till it was my period and like on my third day when you're already feeling better i was like okay today's gonna be the day and we're just gonna go for it and during that time i was also showing him the potty all the time i was reading to him books about the potty we have one that he really likes from elmo i'll post it right here i'll post a picture i'll link it down below as he would even take his like little monitos like his plushies and he'd tell me they need to go potty and i would let him take them first day that i tried again he did so well this time like using the big boy potty and then after that i want to say like three days in four days in of him doing good and like me constantly asking do you have to go potty do you have to go potty and like taking him to the potty he was doing so good but he still would not go poop girl like he would not go number two in the big boy potty like he just refused and that's when we started having the most accidents because he just literally would hold it hold it hold it till he couldn't anymore and then he'd be playing, running around, and then he'd use the restroom. And I would get so upset because, like, I had been asking him all day to use the potty. And, like, he just wouldn't. And, again, I knew. Just like he was so afraid to pee. But eventually, I knew he got it down. He knew what he was doing. He was just as scared to go pee. The same way he was acting. And I was like, I know eventually he's going to get the poop. He's going to get number two and he's going to not be afraid like he is afraid right now. And I just got to be patient. And that's honestly what I was telling myself. Like, Leslie, be patient. 
your son is learning something that he's never done before. And you are doing something you've never done before. You're teaching a child to use the restroom. So be more patient. That was me sitting on that toilet. What kind of love would I want in this moment? And that's exactly what I was doing. And there was times, girl, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There was times where I literally had to leave the restroom to like not break down and start screaming and like you know be that mom that i don't want to be i'm gonna just go in with bronzer now i'm using the hula bronzer by benefits my favorite and i'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just like add some warmth back to my skin because obviously this like takes away all the warmth i wasn't giving in though there was times where he'd be like mom i want a diaper like i want a diaper i want a diaper and like I knew like if I give in he's always gonna do this and I'm always gonna give in like I have to stick to it and we did girl like the only thing is on the weekends like there was times where my husband was like I'm gonna go run errands with him and I, I don't want to deal with that so I'm gonna put a diaper but then I started telling him like diapers are only for when you go to sleep only to go to sleep to take a nap and at night we put on diapers because we still have like a bunch a box so I was like I'm gonna keep using these until he runs out and then i'll probably buy the um pull-ups um but for now i'm gonna just use the diapers until we finish them and our favorite diapers by the way if you're ever wondering what diapers we use for malachi i'll post pictures here because we use two different ones two different brands for during the daytime we really loved pampers baby dry and then um for nighttime i loved the huggies overnight diapers i feel like they were the best ones out of all the underwears i uh, out of all the diapers i tried those were the best never had any like leaking problems or anything and it was just it was perfect for us so the last two weekends if we have to run an errand i told my husband like no we're gonna take him into the restroom and i've been doing it like when me and my mom went to target that was my first time alone with my toddler taking him to the adult restroom and it worked out like they had a family restroom in target the toilet bowl his height so it was like perfect um it's, it wasn't as scary as i thought like i literally kept asking him and anytime i felt like i needed to pee i would make him go pee with me even if he felt like he didn't he always ended up having to use the restroom too so that's another thing like if you have to pee more than likely your toddler has to pee too so don't listen like oh yeah you don't gotta pee especially when they're out and about because they're so excited being out and about so also i took hella clothes girl like i took three changes of everything shirts pants underwears just because like i knew that there was times where he was gonna get wet which he totally did get wet one time but it was okay because i had wipes to clean them i had socks i had clothes so we changed it up and girl i've been obsessed with this blush it's called the fluffy butt but the fluffy butt Ooh, we love fluffy butt it is the fluffy blush by pacifica and it's just a cream blush and it looks like this this is such a pretty pink and I love it because I really love cream products. I feel like they just always look better, like more natural. So, and I love blush. Like I love to have a lot of blush. So I'm going to go heavy on my cheeks, my nose. Like I love that uh, sunburnt look with my blush. So go in girl oh, or don't. <laughs> it's all right girls so i am ready for the day i did my simple mommy makeup and hair and this always makes me feel like a 10 it always makes me feel good put together and like obviously i can take my day and create content whenever the feeling comes i'm gonna go ahead and clean up because i'm starting to get hungry i feel like i'm ready for lunch a little small lunch i also meal prepped yesterday some tuna fish in a big container in the fridge i like to do this because me and Philip both love tuna fish, but he likes it more on the simple side. So I just make it simple and then I like to spice it up here at home. So in this jar, this pickle jar, I make a big container of tuna fish with eggs and relish, mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard and seasoning. And that's ready in the fridge for whenever I want to eat a little something. And then also we've been trying the kiwi guava drinks. I give this like a 7 out of 10. It's not the best, but it's 
refreshing with the guava. I like it. I really enjoyed it way better than the retro candy for sure. Go ahead and finish off this video. That way I can start editing for you guys and post it. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to anyone that ever watches my videos. It seriously means a lot to me that you girls message me and tell me you guys look forward to my videos. And the fact that you guys sit through and watch my whole video, like it's just like so crazy to me. And that you guys say that I motivate you to want to work out, to take better care of yourself. That also means a lot to me. Like that's all I want to do. I feel like that's what I'm meant to do is to like motivate other people by just living my authentic life and sharing myself and what i'm doing and sharing with what sharing with you girls what makes me feel good because i know it can also transform you and make you feel good when it comes to potty training just be patient i feel like that is the most important thing patience with yourself and with your toddler patience on what you're doing what you're trying to achieve and just remember that it's a completely new thing that you're going to be learning for the both of you and also just don't have idea of like when you're supposed to start or like when you're supposed to be good why because like i remember malika had been potty training for like two weeks and he was still having accidents he still has accidents to this day and we've been potty training now for like a month like a solid month he's been potty training and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's he still has accidents and that's okay because i don't expect him to have it under wraps if it's something still new for him you know so just try it out I feel like reading books about potty is also good. I would even put potty songs on YouTube for him to like see. I think it was like Kelly's Corner or I don't remember. It was like a little girl and it said something corner and like they had like a music video. I'll link it down below too if your kids like music videos like Malachi does. But honestly, the only tips I can give you that is trial and error and it's true with the say once you start, if you know you're serious and you want to be pot to potty train your toddler do not give in do not put on the diapers as much as they want you have to be the one that holds the accountability for the both of you you know your child's only going to learn what you make them learn my tips for potty training everything like i said that i use to potty train malachi will be linked down below and if you're ever interested in any products i get for my toddler for malachi since he was a baby i have a uh, amazon link or amazon section just for him and it's like toddler baby kid stuff and it's always there available for you to shop girl but anyways i hope you girls enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you girls later bye